Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create or how to write the code for the traffic light control system in two lanes uh, using the SFC sequential function chart programming language. So here I have the visualization in which we have an intersection east to west and south to north directions we have here and we have I have already set these uh, traffic lights here. In the main program, I already have created the uh, variables for the lights, for the lamps on the traffic light system. Green 0, 1, green red 0, 1, and yellow 0, 1 refer to the pilot lamps in the south north direction. And green 0, 2, red 0, 2, and yellow 0, 2 refer to the pilot lamps in the other direction. In the visualization, I have created the background image. You can uh, create it and then add it to the visualization from here. So if you right click on the main window, you will have the background option and through which you can set an image to be used as the background image. Okay, and here I also have uh, put these traffic light systems and on top of them I have placed the pilot lamps. So these pilot lamps refer to the red zero one yellow zero one green zero one as you can see here and the same here red zero one yellow zero one green zero one and the ones on the east west direction in this direction refer to the red zero two yellow zero two and green zero two as you can see here and the same for this one now in the main program i i'm going to uh, create a code using the SFC programming language in order to control the turning on and off of the pilot lamps in each direction. And for that, I will uh, have this policy that the green light will be turned on for five seconds, then the yellow light will be turned on for three seconds, and then the red light will be turned on for eight seconds in each direction. Okay. So let's start by uh, creating the sequence in one direction. Let's say in the uh, south north direction. To do so, I can uh, click here on the true transition, which is uh, after the initialization. By clicking here, so insert step transition afterwards, I will have step zero, then step one, and step two. So I need three steps because I want to turn on the green light, then yellow light, and then the red light inside each one of the steps here. I can change the name of the steps. I will change this to green one. The next one to yellow one. And the third one to red one. Now I want to have the green light turned on whenever I enter into into this step, into green one step, and I want to keep it on for five seconds. So one thing that I can do is to create an entry action. Whenever I enter, the green zero one will be turned on. Whenever I exit, I will have an exit action which turns off the green zero one, and I need to have an active, uh, step active action to keep the execution of the code inside this step for a given amount of time. So let's start by adding the step entry action. We can do it in a different ways. One way is to grab the action here and place it here uh, in the left uh, lower corner. If I place it here, by default I have the name green one on the line entry. And the programming language can be selected as we wish. Leather logic, I'm all right with it. So I add it. And here, what I want to do is to turn on the green zero one. So I insert the coil directly and determine the variable name as green zero one. And that's all. Okay, then uh, let's insert an step exit action by placing it here. Or maybe this time I can just right click on it and select the add exit action. So green one underline exit, letter logic, I can again use it. And at this point I want to 
turn off current zero one, right? So I insert the coil and then negate it from here. So to to have the execution of the program uh, inside the green green one step for let's say five seconds, what I need to do is to uh, create an ex and step entry a step entry action so I can do it from here action and if I place it here it will be the green one underline active I can again use better logic and here what I need to do is to create the timing to do so I can uh, use a undelay timer place it here declare it t on underline zero the preset time uh, so I can write t five seconds. Lapse time I don't need, and as the input of the timer, I will use its output but negated. So it's t um, underline zero dot q in the negated case. So this will create me the time delay that I I, I wish. And here in the transition, I can refer to the T on underline zero dot Q. So this means that the, the step green one will be active for the given amount of time, which is five seconds. I can set the other ones to two and maybe compile and run the code to show you that we, this step, step green on the green one will be active for the given amount of time, which is uh, five seconds. Yeah, I will. Login and here we see that the green light will be turned on for five seconds. If I start to run it, so you see that this action, this step is active. The green zero one is true. Uh, so it should be true for five seconds. Ah, okay. But then, since here I don't have anything, in the next steps, it goes back to this step again, and then the green light will, will remain turned on. The step is is uh, active. So I, I can do something here. If I set this to false, then the execution of the code will remain here in this step, and you can see that uh, the green light will turn off after five seconds. Let's have a look at the visualization as well. Yeah, so the green light is turned on and then it turns up and the execution will be stuck here. Okay, so I can continue to do the same thing for yellow one and red one uh, steps as well. Similar thing using the undelay timer, entry step, exit step, and uh, active step, but referring to the yellow zero one and red zero one uh, pilot clamps, I will do it and then show you how does it work in one direction. All right, so I did it as I explained you for step yellow one and red one. I created entry, exit, and active actions, and is, and inside each one of them, I just uh, set the corresponding pilot clamp uh, to be turned on or off and then the, the timing. So for yellow one entry, active action, I have set three seconds. As you may see here, yeah, three seconds. And for red one active, I have set eight seconds. For the entry of yellow one, I'm turning on yellow zero one. And for the exit, I'm turning off yellow zero one. Uh, OK, so now I think I can just log in and run the code and you will see how how does it looks like uh, in the visualization let's run it okay decrease the size so here you can see that in 
one direction, which is north to south, the pilot lamps are working in the order that we have set. So the green light for 5 seconds, yellow light for 3 seconds, and red light for 8 seconds. And I haven't done anything for the east to west direction. And that's the next step. Keep in mind that I'm using only one timer. So because uh, when the timer is being used inside one step, it's not used by the other ones, by any other step. So one, one uh, timer is enough for one direction, let's say. But I'm changing the preset value for the timer from, in, I have five seconds here, three seconds here, and then eight seconds here. Okay, now let's stop it and add the other direction as well. So I just stop it and then log out. So here I want to have three parallel steps, green to yellow to red to, and I want to turn them on and off and uh, the, the pilot lamps in the other direction. So let's start by creating a branch. The branch is here. If I select it and drag it, so these uh, gray highlighted locations show the possible locations that I can start the branch from. I will start from here, just after the initialization. And then I need to select the next uh, point as well for the branch. So since I want to have uh, the steps in parallel with these three steps, I will select this uh, this point after the red step. Now I can insert uh, the transition here. Then after that I need two steps with transitions. I can do it from here as well. So step one and step two with transition. I don't need this transition because I can use the transition that I already have here. So I will call this red2. Uh, so red, this will be green2 and then yellow2. And I will do somehow similar uh, things that I did for the first uh, direction. For the north to south direction, whatever I had here, I will have similar thing here for the east to west direction. Red 2 will be turned on for 8 seconds, then green 2 will be turned on for 5 seconds, and yellow 2 will be turned on for 3 seconds. And here in the uh, transition condition, I will check whether both of the timers are done. I will use another timer here because the, the red 2 and green 1 steps will be activated at the same time. So I will introduce another timer, T on underline 1, uh, with the given values as the preset time. And I will uh, create the entry action, step action, and active action for each of the steps. And then I yeah, show you the results. Uh, all right, so I did all the things that I, I explained to you. For red 2, I have one entry action, exit action, and step active action. And for green 2 and yellow 2 as well. For red 2, when I enter, I turn on the red 0 2 pilot lamp. When I exit, I turn off the red 0 2 pilot lamp, as you can see here. So by double clicking on the name of the action, you can see the action as well. And then during the step active, I have the timer on underline 1, on delay timer, which receives its input. The, the output is used as the input, but in the negated case, to create the time delay that you want to have. Uh, yeah, and that's all. And here in the last uh, transition condition, I have set the t on underline 0.q and the t on underline 1.q. It means that both of the uh, these sequences are done, then we can go back to the init step and afterwards we can continue. And the, the sequence will be continued forever. I can show you it on, in the runtime. This is what we have uh, for the visualization. We just put it here. So you can see that in one direction we have the change of the lights in this order. And in the other direction, we have it as you can see. 
So red is turned on in north to south, yellow is turned on in the east to west. Uh, oh, okay, I think something is wrong here in the transition. Let me just turn, figure it out and then I will let you know. Uh, okay, so I fixed the problem here for the condition because we, in the previous case we had t on underline 0 dot q and t on underline 1 dot q. Uh, so since the output of the timer turns on for a very short period of time, then it, it, uh, it couldn't match between the timer 0 and 1 to have the output true at the same time, exactly at the same time, and that's why we couldn't uh, transit to the next step which is in it. So instead here I'm using only the output of the first timer, timer 0, t on underline 0. And you can see that the operation of the process is fine now. Okay, now yeah, we are in this state. And then yeah, so here we have red for east to west, green for north to south and then the state is changed, and that's what you can see here. Okay, so this is one way of implementing the traffic light control system using the SFC, by declaring this kind of uh, actions, entry, exit, and step active actions, and uh, creating the, uh, the variables for each pilot lamp. In another video, I will show you a much uh, simpler way of doing this, by referring to the implicit variables that we have with the steps. That will be the subject of another video that I will prepare soon. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thanks again for watching. And uh, please don't hesitate to share the video if you think that it would be useful for someone else to watch. Thanks again and see you next time.